Hello everyone, do you know the life cycle of perfume? No, let me tell you. In this video I will cover for four part which is first. Introduction, second, life cycle of perfume. Third, impact perfume to the environment and lastly the solution. Do you know, what is perfume? Perfume is a substance, extract, or preparation for diffusing or imparting an agreeable or attractive smell, especially a fluid containing fragrant natural oils extracted from flowers, wood or similar synthetic oils. Perfume have five types, first, parfum, second, eau de toilette, third, is, eau fraiche, fourth, eau de parfum, and, lastly, is, Eau de Cologne You guys must be wondering, where the perfume came from. The origin of perfume is commonly attributed to the ancient Egyptians. They utilized scents to celebrate prayers and religious ceremony by burning essential oils, resin, and perfumed unguents. First, the oils and unguents burned were necessary to ensure divinity's protection and benevolence. Besides, scents were also used to convey messages and prayers to the dead, to purify the body and to conduct embalming ceremonies. Over time, scents were not only confined to the sacred aspects, but they were also introduced in daily hygiene. Here is a quote from Coco Channel, a woman, who does not wear perfume, has no future. Next, Life Cycle of Perfume It have six stages. First, raw materials. Second, manufacturing. Third, packaging. Fourth, distribution. Next, useful life and lastly, end of life. Raw Material Extraction First step is, expression, expression is the raw natural material, often citrus, is placed on a large plate. A top plate is then pressed down on the raw material squeezing them tightly until their natural essences are pressed out. Second is, solvent extraction. The first stage sees the flower or plant soaked in a cold solvent, almost like putting them in a bath. The scent molecules, the pigments and the plant waxes move into the solvent. Third is, steam distillation, a natural ingredient, often herbs or flowers is placed on top of water in a large copper distilling still, more water is then added and the materials mix in with the water, the water is then heated releasing the aroma of the ingredient into steam. Fourth is, enfleurage, this is the oldest extraction method of perfume oil in the world. Flowers are laid out petal by petal on trays of beeswax during the first stage of the process and left overnight for their scent to exude into the wax. Next is, carbon dioxide extraction. An essential oil is extracted using high-pressured carbon dioxide, it operates at a lower temperature and with no toxins and therefore is a cleaner way of producing the oil. After that, maceration a similar process to solvent extraction, but the preparation phase here tends to be much lengthier. Last but not least, aromachemicals as sitting between art and chemistry aromachemicals are the work of master perfumers and ingredient experts. A method of catching nature's best kept secrets and allowing them to add to the perfumer's palate. Last step is, headspace technology is very similar. Think of it as a fragrant camera that captures molecules that cannot be extracted via traditional methods and decodes them so that they can be used in making perfume. Manufacturing have four steps, which is, collection, extraction, blending, and hanging. Packaging, 1. Seal the perfume caps with cellotape, 2. Bubble wrap perfume bottle. 3. Vacuum seal or box package perfume bottles. 4. Wedge perfume bottles between clothes. 5. Keep perfume away from heat. Next, distribution. In the perfume industry this comprises of producers, wholesalers and retailers or in some cases the wholesalers can be cut out of the channel of distribution. Useful life of perfume. It can be boosts confidence. It can. Triggering memories. It can be, aromatherapy. It can makes you attractive, and enhances mood. End of life perfume. When the perfume is no longer useful, it is in its end of life stage. 
This is when it is thrown away. One is to sort discarded glass by color and clean and crush each color of glass separately. The different pieces of glass can then be melted and reused to manufacture other glass products of the same color. Impact of perfume to environment. First, climate change. Second, reduce the surface tension of water. Third, algae to bloom. Lastly, petrochemical air pollution. Finally, the solution from impact of perfume. By choosing to shop for products that are naturally scented, sustainable, organic, or locally made. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my video.